Hello, hello, you guys. Namaste. This is me, Diara, and this is another Pick a Card, Pick a Pile reading. Um, thanks for being with me. Thank you very much for sharing, liking, and subscribing. Um, <clears throat> I feel that the energy is quite special these days, and this is why I feel guided to do this kind of reading tonight. This is a spiritual message for you. This is um, something that your spirit team wants you to know. Okay. Um, you can call it differently. You can call it God or universe or higher self or I don't know. But um, for me, it, it's it's the spirit team, you know, your, your guardian angels, the team that's supporting you um, and is always there for you. And um, not everyone can afford a personal reading. Not everyone um, has access, access to these kind of things. So... Yeah, this is for all of you out there who are interested. And also, this is a little bit about the current energy. It's autumn. It's end of October. I mean, basically, all my readings are timeless. Every now and then, the question comes up. People asking me that, hey, is this a timeless reading? Yes, they are always timeless. It's based on the law of attraction. So whenever you find a reading, whenever you feel guided by YouTube or spirit to, yeah, to see something, to listen to something, it's for you, okay? This is what the law is of attraction is all about, okay? And um, having said this, um, still I can feel that these days um, energy is accelerating. People are changing. People are moving forward, or at least they have the will to do so. Sometimes moving forward is not that easy. Sometimes there are strings attached, right? There are obligations and things to consider. It's not always so easy to just, you know, like turn around and move on. But the will is there. The wanting is there. The, the desire. And I can feel it um, enormously right now these days. Um, I'm literally getting downloads and um, I felt guided to write some things down as well. So definitely check out my website. Um, I am about um, to write a little handout, you know, like a PDF um, for all of you for free. Uh, you don't have to pay for it. You can download it or you can ask me to send it to you. I'm not finished yet. I, I think I need a day or two more. Um, this is a little guidebook about um, how to let go. I think this is um, the headline here these days. The headline these days is learning how to let go. Um, and this comes out um, a lot these days. A lot of people are dealing with questions like that. How can I let go? How can I move forward? How can I see whether this is real or just in my head? You know, you can call it differently. Again, you if you don't like the the wording letting go, you can call it to accept something, you know, like accepting that the things are the way they are, or I don't know, maybe there are other good ways how to, how to name it. Um, you know, like to make things a little bit easier, I will continue using the frame, the face, um, letting go. Okay. So this little guidebook is coming like just, you know, three or maybe four sites, um, easy to read. Um, and, um, yeah, just for free. Yeah. Um, I think I will be done with it, um, within the next days. Um, and yeah, so if you feel like, Hey, I feel an urge inside of me, I feel excitement in a good or in a bad way. Maybe I feel very wide awake, or maybe you feel tired these days. Maybe you feel like, Oh, oh my goodness, I can't move. I can't get out of bed. I, I don't know where my head is all about, you know, things like that. If you feel special these days, this is the energy. This is the current energy. For me personally, I know it sounds maybe a little bit funny, but um, I mean it seriously. I just uh, bought, <laughs> I, I have to laugh myself a little bit here, but I, really, I'm not kidding you. Within the last, what was it, three days, I bought like, I don't know, five pairs of shoes. 
five pairs of shoes. And if you know me, um, I'm very picky when it comes to money. You know, like I'm a saver. I, I don't like to spend money. I'm not a shopping girl, not at all. Um, but I, I bought like literally five pairs of shoes, four or five different pairs of shoes these days. And this is also, you know, the, this is where it started. The download started with me um, searching for shoes, shoes, shoes. And shoes is all about moving, walking, you know, moving on, developing yourself, the chariot. If this would be a tarot card, you know, like me buying shoes, it would be number seven, the chariot, moving and finding your way, so to say. Okay. So having said this, this was five minutes, a little bit of a monologue of mine, you know, speaking about the current energy, but this is also a little bit the topic of this reading. Sometimes people come and say like, hey, the reading was good, but you talked too much in the beginning and whatnot. But sometimes I do it purposely because I want to share these things. I have this um, urge inside of me to share these things because I know there are people out there who need to know this and who need to listen to these kind of messages. You know, people who feel weird, people who also have this um, weird feeling inside of them to move forward and to change. And now you know where this comes from because it's the energy. The energy is right now leveling up. Level up is a beautiful word. Level up and you are about to level up. Okay. If you are here, if you are still listening to me, speaking, talking, um, if you felt guided to, um, yeah, choose this reading amongst all those hundred different readings out there. Um, you are one of the people who want to move forward and who want to change and who are affected by this current very special and very beautiful energy because change is always good. Yeah, moving forward is always good. So now to the reading. Choose one of these piles. And this is a message from Spirit for you right now. Okay, just a, a divine message to you. I don't know what comes up. I haven't seen these cards myself. I was, I'm always shuffling blindly. Um, so, and remember, I'm an intuitive reader. It, it's like cooking, you know. Um, I'm not cooking by recipes. I'm not reading by book. I read intuitively. It's like with chicken soup, you know, like everyone has their own recipe. Okay. So grandma has their own recipe, mom, dad, you know, aunt, Annie, and everyone is doing it a little bit differently, but at the end of the day, it's chicken soup, right? Um, so if you wonder if there's a point where you wonder like, Hey, why is she reading the card like this or that? Now, you know, okay, let's start with people who choose pile number one. Okay, if you have chosen pile number one, what does spirit wants you to let you know right now? Okay, first of all, this is about love. They want you to stay optimistic when it comes to your love life. Positive thinking is very, very important to you. Okay, um, five of cups and divine love. Yeah, definitely. This is about love. I feel that you have been through a breakup, maybe several ones. This is also the funeral card. Five of cups is all about grieving and being sad about the 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 three cups that fell down, you know, like crying over spilled milk, crying over things that you can't change anymore, words, um, whatever, you know, situations, people, um, not always does it have to be about love. Maybe you are um, sad about someone who passed away, someone of your siblings, you know, um, people who were close to you. But since we have two cards um, indicating that this has something to do with love, I will read it this way. If it res what resonates, resonates, okay? Take everything with a grain of salt anyways. I always say that. Um, I feel that you have been through something. For you, the, the topic of moving on, and and leaving is very present these days you are definitely one of the people who are affected of this wanting to go on energy this is um in the atmosphere right now and it has to do with autumn as well you know like um energy is constantly shifting you can see it in nature too. We have four seasons, spring, summer, now it's autumn, winter is about to come, whether we like it or not, you know, the cold season. Um, so 
everything changes constantly. You know, it goes up and down. There are upswings, there are downswings. And this is for everyone. Everyone out there is affected by these um, highs and lows. And this is completely natural and normal. And it is supposed to be like that. Yes, we people, we would probably prefer to always live in summertime, you know, where the sun is shining and everything is lighthearted and playful and no need to worry about a thing and stuff. But this is, um, I mean, seriously spoken, um, this is childish uh, thinking, right? I mean, once you are an adult, you know that this is not going to happen. This is simply not realistic. Everything changes, everything. And I feel that you have been through a breakup, at least one major breakup, or maybe this is an ongoing uh, topic in your life. Maybe it started with your dad or your mom, you know, in your childhood, something with uh, leaving and not being present and stuff like that. And that was something that you had to deal with probably for a very, very long time. But spirit is now letting you know, and this is such a positive message here to you, pile number one, that, hey, don't you give up hope, okay? Um, it's always darkest before dawn, as they say. The sun will shine again in your life. After winter comes spring again, yeah, and um, you will blossom, you will live to the fullest, you will have reason to be happy and to laugh. Um, it is all about divine guidance and timing, pile number one, and it's all about releasing old patterns, as you can see, okay? So in order to release, to let go, I mean, isn't that, isn't that a funny coincidence that I was just speaking about this little handout that I'm about to write? You know, like these few pages that I'm offering you for free. Um, once again, I'm not done yet. I'm not finished yet, but I think I will be done by tomorrow or maybe at, I think um, at the weekend, I will definitely be um, ready with this PDF. So feel free to just write me a little line and then I will just send it to you just like that. Easy. Okay. This is the KISS principle. Keep it small and easy. I'm not charging you. I don't want anything from you. You know, like I don't want you to purchase a personal reading in return. Um, no, if you want to have a personal reading one day, feel free to contact me. I'm always there for you. But if you are like, hey, I can't afford it or I simply don't want it. I already had one or two or I don't know uh um i'm not there yet for a reading then yeah you don't have to right there's no pressure but this little handout you know um as i am a spiritual guide i'm not only a card reader and a yoga teacher i'm also a spiritual guide i'm happy to offer it to you for free okay so definitely check that out so yeah and because for you this is your thing right you are all about to release old patterns and you have probably already healed a lot. Um, I feel that you're not quite there yet. Um, I was saying that in other readings as well. I feel like to 80, maybe 90% you're done. But there is still a little bit that you have to get over. And then you will be there. And then you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, so I feel that for most of you, the baddest times are already over. Okay, you've made it to the peak point already. But, you know, like walking down the hill is also an exercise, right? I mean, walking uphill is very exhausting and, you know, it costs energy and whatnot. But now you are downhilling and this is also an exercise, okay? I hope this example makes sense. So what's the universe's uh, guidance? To yeah, you see, I mean, no one is going to believe me now that I shuffled the cards blindly, right? I mean, no need to worry. Hello. Yeah, this is what I was saying. You are now, you've made it to the peak point. You've been up the hill as hard as it may have been, right? And now you are on your way down, which is an exercise in itself, okay? But um, you don't have any need to worry. There's nothing you have to be afraid of, okay? Times are definitely becoming better. And this is Francesca. Your, your guardian angel right now is Francesca difficult name. And she's asking you, hey, what do you want? What do you want? Visualize what you want and it will come true. But in order to visualize, yeah, in order so it can come true, you first have to know what you want. Sit down, take a piece of paper, take a pen and write down what you want. Okay? Write down what you want. Open your eyes, 
Don't be like this girl here with closed eyes. Because if you have your eyes closed, you can't see. But you have to see what you want to have in order so you can order it from spirit, from universe. Yeah, make your order. And um, yeah, this is your, your guidance here. This is your message, pile number one. Is there anything else that wants to come out? Let me just tune in. Any other thing that they want me to let you know here? Yeah, you've, you've almost made it. This is what I'm hearing. You've almost made it. And um, don't you give up um, now that you are so close to your destiny um, and, and destination. Wow, I wanted to say destination, but I said destiny. So yeah, this has to do with karma. This has to do with fate. Okay, and especially when it comes to your love life, maybe you have been single for years and years and years and you have been always choosing the wrong ones, you know, like as in your pickle was wrong, um, stuff like that. Someone hurt you tremendously. Um, maybe you have been through abuse even, um, which is so sad and, and bad. And I don't want to step into that too much here, but um now you've already made it, okay? You've almost made it, remember. So you've almost there. Don't you give up now that you are so close to your goal, okay? This is your, yeah, this is your message for today, pile number one, people. Let me pull you one final clarification, one final card. Is there anything else for you guys? Any other encouraging message or information or advice? Yeah, here it is. Higher forces. I told you, this is destiny. This is karma. Yeah. And now you may have been on a downswing for a while, dealing with bad stuff, bad people, situations, you know, depression, whatnot. But now you are on an upswing. You are about to swing up and to level up. I told you right away, right? I told you within the first, you know, like my little monologue in the beginning, this is an energy of leveling up and you are affected in a good way, which is so beautiful, right? I mean, this is what we want. We want to unfold our fullest potential. We want to be seen. We want to be respected, appreciated, loved, right? Heard. And this is what's about to happen for you, pile number one. You will level up. You will level up. Full stop. So let's move on to pile number two. Let me just put that away. And now let's step into the energy of those who choose pile number two. Open yourself for this message, this divine guidance, spirit one wants to give you let's clear the energy by burning some palo santo okay and let's see what what's up what are you dealing with what what's what is it all about for you engagement nine of swords it came out in reverse initially, but I will turn it around in order so you can see the card better and support. Yeah. So, um, first of all, Spirit wants you to know that you are supported. You are supported. You are a light worker. You are a hypersensitive person. Maybe you are a spiritual person for sure. I mean, you are here. You are listening to me. So definitely you are um, a light-minded person. Maybe you are a tarot card reader yourself. Maybe you have your own channel going on. Maybe you are a healer, a teacher, um, a guide, a mentor, something among those lines, you know. I mean, there are so many ways how to serve people, how to help people, how to support people. But you are supported as well. You should never forget that. You are guarded and guided um, from above, okay? And you have your own destiny to fulfill. And one thing when you are a healer, which is very important, is 
you should always love yourself first. As important as it is to heal others and to help others and to be there for others, you should never um, forget about yourself, okay? You should always take care for yourself as well. Treat yourself in a good way. Educate yourself. But not only education and stuff like that. I mean, also, you know, like the simple things, take a bath every now and then, um, go to the hairdresser, get your nails done, you know, like um, treat yourself in a good way, go to the sauna or allow yourself to have a nice vacation every now and then. This is very, very important because as they say, um, I'm not, no, I don't know if I'm getting it together here, but um, in the right way, but you know, you can't, drink from an empty cup, so to say. Do you know what I mean? If your cup is empty, you have nothing to give. There's nothing left for you to give to others, which is your purpose. Your purpose is to help and to heal. And um, since the Nine of Swords came out in reverse, for you, a little bit the same as for people who choose pile number one, um, you have been through some stuff yourself. Maybe this was also the reason why you became a healer and a light worker and why you became a tarot card reader, um, if you are one. I know not everyone is a tarot card reader, okay? But just, you know, um, as an example, there is a reason why you're here. You may not be a tarot card reader, you may not consider yourself and see yourself as a healer or a teacher, but you're here, right? You are here. You found your way um, to YouTube and to these pick a card readings. And this alone um, is saying a lot about you as a person and as a spiritual being, doesn't it? Just, a, I mean, this is the same like if you go to yoga. You find your way into a yoga class for a reason. You may not know the reason. Maybe you think the reason is, okay, I'm doing yoga because I have some back pain or stuff like that. But I believe that there's always another reason as well. A reason behind the reason, so to say. Think about it. There's always a reason. And um, also, generally spoken, all the everything that we are experiencing, everything that we are going through um, is happening for a reason. Yeah? Every loss. Every discussion, fight, um, assault, feelings of being guilty, not good enough, everything is there for a reason. These things are there to teach us something, to show us something. People are coming into our life to mirroring, to mirror us and stuff like that, you know. So the card is in reverse, which is good. Honestly spoken, we all know, um, let's be honest, that when the card comes out in the upright, it speaks about nightmares and sleeping night, sleepless nights and insomnia and stuff like that, worries and doubts um, that are yeah affecting you in a pretty bad way. But the card came out in reverse. So, And this is why I said it's a little bit the same energy as in pal number one. You have been through a lot, but you are now um, over it. You know how pain feels. You know how it feels to be isolated and alone and rejected. You know how it feels to be in a depression or to be abused, stuff like that. I mean, it doesn't always have to be that bad, you know. Sometimes it's just, you know, just the divorce of your parents. Maybe it has nothing to do with abuse, with depression, with, you know, feeling like this or like that. Maybe it's just like, you know, your parents got divorced when you were little and this is affecting you. It is affecting you whether you want it or not, whether you know it or not, whether this is happening consciously, unconsciously, it is affecting you. Believe me, it is affecting you. Okay. You may, you don't want to hear about this stuff. Maybe you grow up without a father being present, you know, like maybe let's say your father left your mother um, while she was pregnant with you, but still it's affecting you. Even though you've never seen this guy, right? You don't know who this guy is even, but still it's affecting you. Um, it doesn't always need to be a real trauma that you need to heal via therapy or stuff like that but it, it does something to you right and you know how that feels um and this is pretty much what they want you to know they see you spirit is seeing you they know what you have been through okay they they did not forget about you they are not seeing past you no not at all they they are guiding you and they they just want you to know that um hey you know what your love life and your life in general is right now accelerating i think everyone who is 
attracted to this reading um, is a little bit like me. Maybe you too felt the urge to buy shoes. <laughs> Maybe you feel like you are getting downloads. Maybe you dream weird stuff. Maybe you too um, have the, the, the wanting to write into a journal. Also, you may haven't done it for a year or so, right? But these days, maybe let's just say you woke up today and you felt this massive pull towards your old journal so you can write stuff into it, you know? Um, yeah, because you are like me. You are in the same energy. You can feel it too. You feel that things are moving and are about to change. And this energy right now, this autumn energy, you know, is all about movement and, and unfolding yourself to your highest potential. And yeah, this can affect your love life. Maybe this is a little bit of love message as well, which is, I think, good news. Everyone wants love. Right, but um, not only love related, okay? Is there anything else? Yeah, you see, the situation will improve. I just told that the situation will improve. You've been through a lot, you know how it feels to be in pain, and but the situation will improve. And here, you see her, um, she's she seems to be lifted up, she's lifting up, swimming up, flying up to the light. Yeah, I just told you, you are leveling up, you are receiving downloads and your spirituality in general will probably unfold more and more and more, especially to those who do not yet see themselves as healers and light workers. But I tell you, you are. Um, yeah, and here, okay, this is validation. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. I wish I will uh, choose pile number two. You know that I'm always doing my readings myself afterwards. I don't like, I mean, if I would do them before, if I would choose the pile in the beginning, I would be not objective enough to read the pile. Do you know what I mean? So I always do it afterwards and I hope I will have this one. <laughs> why? Okay, so I will tell you why. Chantel is your guardian angel and Chantel is saying that, hey, a new life, love is just in front of your door. Knock, knock. Okay, this is what she's saying. There's a new love just in front of your door, knocking. And um, this can be something completely new. This can be someone you already know. Just be curious and open and um, yeah, let them bring you the surprise. It's going to be a little bit of a surprise, whether this is someone you already know or someone completely new. But there is someone in front of your door looking at you, watching you, observing you and um, yeah, having maybe a little crush on you and you will get to know who that is quite soon. Okay, just open yourself up. Um, be willing to receive. Okay, um, yeah. Wow, beautiful. So with the engagement card and this this card, I feel like leveling up is definitely affecting your love life, your spiritual life, right? But also your love life. Great. Wonderful. Pile number three. Pile number three. What about you? Let's bring in some Palo Santo. Let's open up. Let's step into your energy. This is a completely new reading. This is for some completely different people, people who choose pile number three because they felt drawn to do so. Um, this is your number. This is your pile. So what's your spiritual message? What does spirit wants you to know right now? Children? The hangman? in reverse, by the way, and playfulness in reverse. I will leave it like that. Okay, isn't that funny? Children and um, playfulness. Your message is, pile number three, they want you to have fun. They want you to be playful, to be a little bit more outgoing, connect yourself, gather yourself, socialize yourself, um, go out and have some fun. I know this may sound a little bit mundane, you know, like, hey, this is supposed to be a spiritual message. But yes, this is a spiritual message. The angels, they want us to be happy. They want us to laugh and to, to lie, to, to live and to, to, um, to, to, to laugh, right? Live, laugh and, 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 and enjoy life, right? Um, I mean, here it goes. 
to have some fun, right? Screenshot it if you like. The focus is bad now, but I think you still can see it, right? Your guidance today is have some fun. Go out, have some fun. Drink yourself a glass of wine if you need to do some salsa or I don't know, whatever dancing classes. Go to the movies, yeah? I've just been to the movies. Um, the Joker movie, do you know it? Um, it is currently, the moment I'm doing this reading, um, it was just released and uh, I can definitely recommend this this uh, this movie. I, I really, I felt very touched by it, I must say. Um, yeah, and I mean, even though this is not a fun movie to see, but still, do something that lights you up, I'm hearing. They want you to uplift your mood, okay? Maybe you are a little bit a loner, someone who likes to be alone at home, someone who likes to read good books. Maybe you like to see movies all by yourself, alone, at home. Maybe you don't like the movies so much. Maybe you think it's too expensive anyways and too crowded and what. But still, your message is very straightforward. I mean, isn't it? It is very straightforward. They want you to go out and to have fun, yeah? Believe that um, something funny can happen when you open yourself up, okay? Um, we have the dog here. And as you may know, I was saying that in the past quite often, haven't said it for a while though, um, God, if you turn the word dog around, it becomes God. D-O-G becomes G-O-D. So the dog... When a dog comes up in a reading, for me, it is always um, the advice to believe and to have faith. Yeah, maybe in some cases it's, it is about a, um, a real dog, you know, like the advice could be that um, you can, maybe you should think about of getting a dog or do uh, dog sitting. Yeah, if you don't want to have a dog or you can't have a dog because of your apartment and living situation, maybe you can, but you love you love dogs or animals, maybe you can do something with animals. Maybe you can help in the zoo or whatever. You can do dog sitting, literally, yeah? It can also be with children, the same here. Maybe you can't have children anymore. Maybe you are too old or you don't want children, but still you can maybe work with children, right? But the quintessence here for me is not, you know, like the picture but the energy that comes out of the card and the energy that comes out of these two cards is getting out of um, being stuck and out of the head, I'm hearing. Your message, part number three, is because I think you are a thinker. You are someone who likes to overthink things. Yeah, you are someone who's very much in your head. For a reason. Maybe you've been raised up this way. Maybe you are very good in mathematics and, and science, you know, and language has never been so much your thing. Just for an example, because science is saying that people who like mathematics and stuff like that in school, you know, at school, um, these people, these children who are good at mathematics Oftentimes, they are not so good when it comes to foreign languages, for example, or let's say drawing, okay? Because your brain is different. Your brain is more focused on numbers and, and you know, uh, and, and fix solutions and not so much focused on more abstract things, so to say. I hope you could understand me. Um, so... Um, yeah, but for you now, you should try to focus a little bit more on things that are not so mind related. Yeah, try to get a little bit more in touch with your inner child, literally. Um, yeah, try to get a little bit more in touch with the, the, the bright side of life, you know, have fun, laugh. Um, yeah, I, I can't say it in another way because, I mean, the message is simple, right? It's simple as that. Go out and have fun. Don't you just stay alone at home and think about stuff, read good books. As good as it is to read good books and stuff, but still, go out and, and show yourself. Um, another advice that's coming for you, pal number three, is stay positive. Yeah, which comes goes along so good here you know like to have some fun stay positive go out and laugh you see this woman you know she's laughing um she's open 
she's about to receive or she's about to give. You can see it either way, you know, like these flowers in her hands. So either she was just receiving them or she's about to, to, to give them to someone. And yeah, this is why I'm saying you should open up yourself to receive and to, to, um, yeah, to get good things, you know, make them happen. Literally make them happen. Oftentimes I say to people, you know what? Um, don't you try to push stuff into a certain direction? I really, I do. If you know me, you know that I'm saying that quite often. Most of the times I'm saying, I'm giving the opposite of advice. Okay. I'm saying, Hey, don't you try to make it happen? Because if it's meant to be, it will be. But in your case, pile number three and for today, I will say, make it happen. Don't you just wait alone at home? until people are knocking at your door, you know, like knock, knock, here I am. Do you want to go out with me? No, you can be the one who's knocking on someone else's door, asking them to go out with you and um, having some fun with you. Right. Um, and here, yeah, once again, and oh my goodness, I cannot believe how, how great this reading is, is fitting into, yeah, is 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 it's like a puzzle that fits perfectly together you know this is oceana your guardian angel's name is oceana and she says act can you believe that act i was just speaking about making it happen and now she says act you should act trust your gut feeling go out and do something don't just sit around go out and do something make it happen Make it happen. Act. Okay? Get in touch with your inner wisdom and your inner teacher. Let me get you a um another oracle card to end this reading with. I mean the, the message is quite straightforward and easy to understand, I guess. Very simple message. Maybe this is giving you a little bit the feeling like, oh, that was simple. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this, the message is simple. I don't know if it's simple for you to, to act according to the message. Maybe it isn't so simple because you are so much, you are used to be so much in your head. Um, so yes, the message is simple and easy to understand, but now it's all, um, about whether you are willing and able to, to act according to this message. Yeah. Go out, socialize yourself, gather yourself. Yeah, be um be you and also enjoy your femininity, okay? Enjoy your femininity. Be a woman, dress up, use some makeup, get yourself some some high heels or I don't know, get your nails done at least, okay? Maybe you're not a makeup person. Maybe you're like, no, this is a masquerade. I don't like these things. I don't like these women who are, you know, like always having their makeup and lipstick and high heels. I'm not like that. I'm no, mm -mm, I'm not like that. Totally not. I'm a no makeup woman, but I mean, it can be fun. Why not? Why not having some fun? Why not doing it? Why not thinking outside the box, at least for once? Feel how it is to walk with high heels and not only with chucks and sneakers. Just feel it. Allow yourself to, to level up into a little bit more feminine energy, okay? And yeah, here again, glitter. All that glitters. Um, I mean, I know that this card says, if you know this card, it says like, Sometimes not everything that glitters is gold, you know, wearing mask and, and, and trying to deceive people, trying to be something that you're not. But in this case, um, in combination with all the other cards, I would rather say that, um, try to discover another part of yourself. You may be a no makeup woman. It's all good. You know, you can be a no makeup woman, but maybe there is a little bit of makeup woman inside yourself as well. This can be a shadow side of yourself that you never dared to show to others. Maybe you were too timid or too intimidated by yourself. I mean, you can be intimidated by others, you know, or when they walk into the room, you feel so small, you know, because they have such a powerful energy and stuff like that but um maybe you can be a little bit like that as well try it discover all the different parts of yourself 
Yeah. And this is, has nothing to do with playing a role or doing a masquerade. No. Not always does this has to be a bad card. Sometimes it's good to, to, to discover other parts of ourselves because we are not one-sided. No one. No person is just, you know, like this or like that. No one. No one in the world. Every person, every human being out there, since we are no robots and we are not made of stone, but we are made of feelings instead and stuff, um, we can change and we can shift and we can be everyone we want to be. Maybe you, like for 30 years, you were, you know, like um, seeing and, and speaking about yourself as a no makeup person. This is just an example, by the way. Yeah, I hope you know that this can be something completely different. Like, hey, I don't like yoga. Yoga is not my thing. Let's go away from this makeup stuff here. Okay, let's use another example. Yoga, singing, dancing. Maybe you're like, no, I can't dance. I'm stiff as a, I don't know. I'm stick as a, as a, I don't know, you know, as a stick. <laughs> I'm stiff as a stick. Ugh. So, but uh, maybe you will discover now that you can dance. You can Yes, you can. This is your affirmation, okay? Pile number three. Yes, you can. You can You can everything you want. You can do it. If you want it, you can do it. If you want it, you can pursue it. You can make it. If you want it, okay? I mean, of course, if you are 60 years old, um, you can't make it to a, a professional dancer anymore, right? This is also, I mean, this is, but this is, I mean, what are we talking about here, right? I know that you are not someone who believes that um, I, I can be everything that I want to be, you know, like just by sitting at home and wishing for it. No, you can wish as much as you want, but sometimes you have to find ways in order how to make your wish come true. Yeah. And this is why I'm saying act, act and make it happen. Okay. So, wow, that was beautiful. So. You guys, this has been your spiritual message for tonight. I hope you like it. Whenever you have questions, feel free to contact me. I'm reading all the comments. I can't always give you a thumb up or a heart or something or comment your comments, but I'm reading them all, okay? Um, and also, when you write an, an, an email to me, I'm always responding. Sometimes I need a little bit because, you know, I'm a flight attendant. I'm not always online, not 24-7, but... Um, as soon as I'm having this email, I will, um, I'm reading it, not having, but reading it, uh, which can take a few days. I will always answer. Okay. So, well, this is it. Namaste. Peace out.